Hello, I am Seamus Dunhu of Eve University, and this is a video about the Great High Security Loop. Or at least what I call the Great High Security Loop. I don't think anybody else calls it that. As a new player, you're going to want, probably going to want to limit your travels and activities to high security space. That is, any solar systems where the security level is 0.5 or higher, where anybody who shoots at you unprovoked will be destroyed by the Concord police. This may not necessarily happen in fast enough to save your ship, but the aggressors will be destroyed, so that does limit the circumstances in which somebody would want to attack you in high security space. In 0.4 through 0.1, that's low security space. People who attack you unprovoked will be marked as a criminal by Concord, but the Concord police do not show up. Out in null security space and wormhole space, the security level is 0.0, .0 or lower, people don't even take a security status loss because Concord has only an extremely vague idea of what any particular individual is doing out in null security space. Or they just don't care. So people don't take security status losses for attacking other people unprovoked in null security space. So, if you're going to limit yourself to high security space, at least for the time being, you probably want to know the geometry of high security space. Now you could look at the in-game star map, like I am now. You could color the star map according to the security status of the stars. And you can draw the lines for the Stargate connections. Here I have the lines drawn according to jump type. So blue are Stargate links between solar systems of the same constellation. Red is between constellations of the same region. And purple are Stargate links between different regions. And implicit in that statement is the fact that solar systems are grouped in constellations, constellations are grouped into regions. And all of the regions makes the entirety of known space. So you're probably going to be limiting your travels to this bluish haze in the middle here. But distinguishing these jumps from one another is rather difficult you can limit the lines being drawn to just your current region or maybe whatever you have selected but the little dots cannot be similarly hidden so it's very difficult to see through the entire mess of dots at anything else that does make this the star map a little bit difficult to use unless you know how to move your camera around so that you can look at something from just the right angle for it to make sense. Some players will use out-of-game resources for their navigation work. Uh, Dotlan is a very common example. So for example, if I click on any of these map icons, this is Eve Maps period Dotlan period net slash region. So if I click on any of these map icons, let's see, I'm in Hematar right now, I can look at the connections of the solar systems in a flat form. Flattening the in-game map is not particularly useful, because then all sorts of things get overlaid on top of each other, and it's kind of a mess. So I generally don't like to flatten the in-game map. It's usually better for me unflattened. Now, what you might not realize about high security space is that contiguous... First of all, high security space can be divided into pockets. All right? There are various little islands out there of isolated high security space where you can't get to it without wormholes or without going through low or null security. For example, if I try to set a destination over here to the Laren solar system, part of that route goes through null security, even though my autopilot is set to prefer safer. Because this is an isolated high security pocket, there's only a, couple, a few ways that I can get to it. I could take a somewhat longer route that avoids null security and at least sticks to low security. Uh, if I... hold on, I know that that region is Syndicate, so if I t search for Syndicate, 
right-click the region and avoid region. I still have to go through low security to get to that location. Let me stop avoiding Syndicate, and let me clear my waypoints. So there are different pockets of high security space, but the isolated high security pockets are very small compared to the biggest of them all, uh, what I call contiguous high security space. And contiguous high security space is the pocket that has all of the tutorial hubs, that has all of the trade hubs. You can go between Jita, Amar, Dodixi, Orsalair, Heck, Renz. You can go between any of the tutorial hubs and the trade hubs without ever stepping outside high security space. So I would call that biggest pocket contiguous high security. Now, as it turns out, it's laid out in a loop. So if we go to browser and we type in wiki.eveuniversity type in wiki.eveuniversity.org type in topology of new Eden spell Eden correctly there's the article topology of new Eden uh, scroll down here we go contiguous high security space and choke points if I left click this link that brings up a diagram that I drew up a while ago. It's a very simple diagram. Right. But it shows how high security is laid out in a loop. So I'm in the Minmitar Republic right now. If I start going around the loop, I can go to the Amatar Mandate, keep going around the loop, I can find the Amar Empire and the Khanid Kingdom, keep going around the loop, I can get to the Kaldari State, or most of it at any rate. Uh, keep going around the loop, I get to the Galente Federation, keep going around the loop, and I'm back to the Minmatar Republic. And these sections of the loop are limited by choke points. So if you're going from the Minmatar Republic to anywhere else in contiguous high security space, and you're not using low security or null security or a wormhole, then you have to go through either the Khalil choke point or the Jark choke point. So you got to go through one of these choke points to travel around the loop. And you can demonstrate that in-game. Uh, let me uh, uh, close this. I am in Eister right now. Here I am, Eister. I am in the Eister solar system right now in the Minmatar Republic. I am going to set... First of all, I'm going to search for Jark. Right-click Jark Samatar Derelict Set Destination. Search for Lisudeh, L-I-S-U-D-E-H. Return to search. Right-click Lisudeh Kisana Devoid. Add waypoint. All right, so there's Jark. There's Jark, and there's Lisudeh. Next, I will go to Niarja, N-I-A-R-J-A. That's Niarja Yekti Domain. Right click, add waypoint. So there's waypoint three. Search for Sivala, S I V A L A. So that's Sivala, Kaldari border zone, the citadel. Right click, add waypoint. Go to Khalil, starts with C O L, push return. Uh, Khalil Algental Sync Laison, right click, add waypoint. Type in E-Y-S-T-U-R, which brings me right back to where I started. Right-click, add waypoint. So this is a loop. All right, that, I believe, is the shortest loop that goes through all of the major powers. So the Mimitar Republic, Am Mimitar Republic, Amatar Mandate, Amar Empire, the Kaldari State, the Galente Federation, and back to the Minmatar Republic again. So that's the great high security loop. So if you're limiting your travels to high security space, you should be aware of this loop structure, and that should help, and that in combination with other map resources like Dotlan, should help you uh, get oriented in your travels. I hope this is of use to you, and thank you for watching.